Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video tutorial of Amazon Web Services AWS, we will learn how we can use AWS Code Pipeline to move our project code from GitHub to Amazon S3 bucket where a static website is hosted. Let me give you an overview of what we will do in this video. I have a demo project in my local host. If I change anything here on the localhost project and push that to a remote repository in the GitHub, it will be updated there. But using the AWS code pipeline service, I want to get any changes automatically replicated or updated to the AWS S3 bucket hosted static website. This will help in the way that we can write code and test in the localhost environment without affecting the live code. Then we want the modifications replicated to the live website that's hosted on AWS S3 bucket as it is pushed from the localhost to the GitHub repository. Here on the jamp project directory that is opt lamp stdocs, I have a project directory named test project. In the project directory, we have two files index.html and error.html. I'm going to host this project to AWS S3 bucket as a static website. If I modify anything in this project file locally and push it to the remote repository on GitHub, changes will be automatically replicated to the live website. So first of all, I'm going to host this project to AWS S3 bucket. So on the AWS management console, I search for S3. Click on create bucket button. I give the bucket name as test local to git bucket. Then scroll down and uncheck the block all public access so that the website hosted in this bucket will be accessible to public. Again, scroll down and click on I acknowledge checkbox. Then click on create bucket button. Now the bucket is created. Click on the bucket uh, test local to git bucket. Click on upload, click on add files. I click on index.html file, then click on OK. Click on upload. In the same way, I upload another file that is error.html. Now click on permissions. Click on bucket policy, copy the ARN ID, then click on policy generator. Here select the type of policy as S3 bucket policy. Type asterisk or the star symbol on the principal. I have already explained about everything about these attributes in the previous video. So I'm not going to explain you all, but I'll just show you the way. On the actions drop down, find git objects and click on it. Paste the ARN that we just copied before coming to this page and add slash asterisk at the end click on add statement button click on generate policy button copy this json code go back to the bucket policy page paste the json code here then click on save button now click on properties click on static web hosting click on use this bucket to host a website Type the index document page name, which now in my case is index.html itself and the error document page is error.html. Then click on save. Again, click on static website hosting. Here we can see the endpoint URL. Using this URL, we can access the page hosted on the AWS S3 bucket. And here it is. Now as the next step, let's create a pipeline from S3 bucket to GitHub repository using the code pipeline service of Amazon Web Services. On the AWS management console, you can just search for code pipeline and find the service or you can get it on services. I search for code pipeline and click on it. Here click on create pipeline button. I give the pipeline name as local to git to bucket. You can give uh, the name as per your choice. However, um, service role is new and I leave the role name as default created. Then click on the next button. 
click on the source provider drop down and select the source as github you will need to connect to github so click on connect to github to authorize it may ask you your github credentials in my case i have already authorized so it's connected without asking any credentials if you click on the repository box you will see your github repositories listed here is i have only one repository i select it likewise clicking on the branch box you will find all your branches but i have master only so i click on it then click on next on the build provider if you click on skip build stage and if you click on skip button you will get a message that you cannot skip this stage so click on drop down box and select amazon s3 where we have deployed a web project in a bucket click on bucket and select the bucket then just click on extract file before deploy check box and click on next here you can review your pipeline settings then click on create pipeline button okay the pipeline has been created successfully now to test i go to the terminal modify something on a file of the project and push it to the github and then reloading the page in a browser we should see the changes replicated automatically i open the index file with nano text editor i copy the last line paste that in the next line remove its text and for example after configuring aws code pipeline press ctrl plus o to write out hit enter and press ctrl plus x to exit from the file checking the git status using sudo git status we can see the index.html file is modified add the file to a git repository using sudo space git space add space index.html then commit the changes using sudo space git space commit space hyphen m the message let's give as pipeline configured now push the file to remote github repository using sudo space git space push space origin space master type the github account credentials and hit enter okay it's done now now going now going back to the browser and reloading the changes uh, we should see the new changes yes it's there this means uh, the changes are made on localhost then that's updated on the github and then that's replicated to aws s3 bucket automatically through code pipeline as the pipeline is created between the amazon s3 bucket and the github okay friends this is how we can use aws code pipeline to transfer codes or updates automatically from github to the aws s3 bucket not only on the s3 bucket but also we can work with other services such as a project on ec2 instance or on a rds instance using the code pipeline services of the amazon web services we will see them in the future videos that's all for now i hope the video was useful to you please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching see you on other videos till then have a nice time goodbye